Hey guys. How did so many of you get in my bathroom? That's crazy. This bathroom's only like 10 feet big. Well, all right, well, I see. Well, since you guys are here, do you wanna watch a shave video? Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Well, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. CWS, how you doing? Sunday morning here in beautiful Prince Edward Island, Canada. Figured I would do a shave video today. Um, I'm gonna try and pump a video out every Sunday, possibly. Uh, today I'm supposed to be working, but uh, slow season in my line of work. Uh, we tend to get parked on Sundays. So here I am, I'm parked off for the day with pay, which is awesome. <laughs> Enjoys being on salary and you know, Day's mine to do what I want to do, unless I get a phone call from dispatch. If I get a phone call, I'm on call, got to run, but chances of that happening are slim to none. So anyway, why don't we have a nice relaxing Sunday shave? So today, we are going to do a straight shave. Um, I try and do my straight shaves on the weekend, if I can, just, just to kind of keep up the whole muscle memory and, and keep going at it. Now, unfortunately, I only really have one usable razor at the moment. That being said, it is my Thayer's Assard. So, yeah, it's a great razor. I absolutely love it. I'm looking forward to getting my Boker um, King Cutter. That is being done up. Probably be starting to get work done this week. Um, so I'm really excited to get that. Uh, the gentleman that piffed it to me when, um, when I get permission or clearance to say their name, I will. Uh, but between him and me, we dated the blade. It looks like it was made in 1915. There's still gold wash and etching on the blade, which is awesome, you know, from a collector standpoint. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to get that vintage razor into the fold as I slowly make my way away from the gold dollars. So without further ado, we'll start getting going here. So the soap for today, I was in a barbershop mood. So we're going to go with the Soapy Bathman Barbershop Quartet. Absolutely love this scent. Um, this was piffed to me as well back during a tough time a year ago. Um, going to have to get another tub of it soon there, as you can see. Oh, she's getting down there. She's getting down there, but uh, it's a well-used soap. I actually really, really like it. So I'm going to pamper myself a bit today too. Something I don't usually do, but I'm going to actually use a pre-shave oil. Um, Got this in a care package uh, from somebody else. I forget who now, but uh, I'll figure straight shave, pre-shave oil. Why not? You know, a little bit of Sunday pampering, right, guys? Because, I mean, you know, who doesn't like to be pampered, right? So I'm going to wet the beard again. I just get out of the shower and uh, put some pre-shave oil on, and we get ready to rock and roll. So a pre-shave oil, like I said, is something I don't really use that often, but, you know, I guess once in a while it doesn't hurt. Try it out. I guess for a straight razor shave, any little bit of extra glide you can have on the skin isn't a bad thing. I'm gonna just get that worked in there. Just gotta make sure you really clean your hands good afterwards. Especially if you're going to be wielding a straight, you don't want your hands too slick. Alright. Get these dried off and get lathered up. So, I already have my lather built up just for the ease of video production and time. Don't want this to be a 40 minute video, but I mean, as you can see, it's a great lather, typical soapy bath man lather. So we'll get this on and commence with the whisker decapitation. Using my whipped dog badger brush. Uh, I actually really like this brush. 
has a good mix of backbone and it's not too stiff it's not scritchy at all it's just a really 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 nice brush uh, this was piffed me by Chris Calhoun about a year ago I guess and uh, yeah it's honestly probably my favorite brush that I have right now all right Oh, we will commence with the whisker removal. Love this razor. Love this razor. All right. Let's get down to business. I've been using this razor a lot. I'm surprised at how smooth it still is. It's outlasted any of the gold dollars I've had as far as honing goes. And it's just really smooth. Great razor, I love it. All right, switch hands. Maybe they're onto something with that whole pre-shave oil thing because that's just gliding through like nothing. Um, also, I mean, it's a really quality soap, but that feels really good on the face, like really, really good. Um, I lapped or stropped this for another 25 laps, and um, like I said, it's holding its edge really, really well. It's really smooth. You don't even feel the blade in your face. Now, I have two other gold dollars that both need to be rehoned, but you can definitely feel them on the face to the point where I don't want to use them until I get them taken care of. Anyway, we'll lather up and uh, go for another pass. So I've been looking at the possibility maybe of um, trying to get into a second career uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I deal in propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I deliver, um, I work for Irving Energy here. Um, I know my profile on Facebook is kind of, uh, it's not really sneaky, but it says I work for the Canadian Coalition for Firearms Rights, which I do. I'm a volunteer, but I deliver propane. So I do work for the oil industry. I keep that in lockdown. It uh, cuts down on the messages I get from uh Eco freaks, I guess, for lack of a better word, because you know we're killing the planet with our oil and everything. As they type hate messages to me from their plastic-made cell phone, which is made out of oil. But anyway, um, it's a good job. It's got great benefits, which is why I will never leave that job. Like the benefits are astronomical, astronomical. Sorry. Um, I think I pay twenty-three dollars a pay for my Blue Cross, and it's really good plan like as many of you know I'm on an insulin pump that was a seven thousand dollar investment that's paid for by my Blue Cross my pump supplies every three months are about a thousand bucks that's covered a hundred percent that doesn't come out of my wallet doesn't come out of my pocket Blue Cross sends me a check I mail it to the pump company and away I go but anyway that being said cost of living here in PEI is fairly it's fairly high and like everywhere else, I mean, it's not getting any better. And my wife, she works full time, but she's a casual. So 
her hours are up and down. She's applying for a position. Hopefully she gets it. So, anyway, long story short, with my job, I only work seven out of 14 days. So it gives me a lot of free time. So I was thinking about maybe getting into some barbering on the side. So, because like many of you, or like all of you, you know, we're into this whole wet shaving thing, and I thought, well, what, what better way than to combine my hobby with maybe make a bit of money? So, I messaged to the humble barber here in PEI of the day. And unfortunately, sorry, I just find it hard to talk and do this at the same time. Unfortunately, he hasn't messaged me back. Now, maybe he's not taking me seriously. I just asked, you know, can you do the barbering thing without taking a course? Because obviously, I, I there's no barbering course here in PEI. I'm 36, I'm married, have two kids, have a career. I can't just drop everything and go to St. John or Halifax, take a course, it's just not gonna happen. So I asked him, is it possible to uh, apprentice without taking a course? So I haven't heard back from him yet. I'm gonna keep at it though. And if not, I'm gonna, there's another barber shop here in Charlottetown that um, the owner is well established. She's been a barber for a very long time. So I will talk to him, so maybe who knows, maybe I could turn that into a second career on my days off or something. Just something I, I'm, I feel really passionately about, like you guys do. And I think it'd be a great way to make some extra money. You know, doing haircuts, doing the whole hot towel shave, the whole nine yards, right? So, you know, we all like doing this. It'd be nice to make a little bit of money out of it too. So I'm going to rinse off and do another pass here. So what are your guys' thoughts on the whole barbering thing? Have any of you ever thought about maybe doing it as a career or a second career? Is it something you've, you know, been interested in? Thinking about taking the plunge? Be interested to hear what some of the other guys think about it. I think it'd be great. I'm not as crazy on the whole cutting hair thing. That being said, I do dye my wife's hair out of necessity. Because it's expensive to go to the salon for that. And I do a pretty goddamn do good job too. Cut the kids' hair once or twice. Worked out all right. So who knows? Maybe I have a knack for it. I don't know. I'd love to be able to do just the wet shaves, but I I think you'd kind of have to do the whole the whole gamut there. So anyway, I'm gonna do another um, south to north pass. I'm not going for BB yet. Actually, no, I'll do the like cross kind of across the grain. I'm not going for a BBS today with the straight. I'm not going to do a, I'm not going to do a follow-up pass with the DE. This is just a work shave. Got nothing important going on. No point, right? So just a nice close shave today. All right. I know a lot of you guys probably wonder why I leave so much you know, cream on my face after a pass. I do have a fair bit of moles, especially down at the bottom here, so I gotta be careful I don't lop them off because they bleed forever. Very nice. 
And then over here, I'll go the south to the north. Very nice. That actually got a lot of the hairs on that side. I might do that over here one more time and we'll be good to go. So hopefully everybody's having a good weekend off. Uh, I know judging by uh, some of the pictures last night, a few of you guys may be nursing a bit of a headache today. And a few too many wobbly pops. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I do enjoy a good wobbly pop once in a while. So this would be pass number four, if you guys are keeping count. I'm kind of blessed with a straight razor. I can, if I'm not doing an against the grain, I can just go on and on and on into infinity and beyond. And not get any irritation, which is nice. So we'll do one more south to north. That should get a lot of the last little hairs. Like I said, it won't be BBS, but it'll be a damn close shave, and that's good enough for today. All right. Very nice. It's as close to BBS as I'm gonna get without getting BBS. Feels very good. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm do my cold water rinse. We will get on with the post. Thought I made Nick the Mole, but I don't know, don't know yet. Doesn't seem to be bleeding, so I think we're all right. That's the joys of having moles. If I could get rid of them all, I would. All right, so a little Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Stuff feels great after a shave. Nice little bit of an astringent. It actually works quite well for me, getting rid of any redness that I may have. Um, no redness today though, zero irritation on that shave, which is great. So we like to see, it's pretty close. A little bit of, yeah, you can feel a little bit on the across the grain, but there's nothing visible. So that's the main thing. So for today's uh, post products, we are going to use the matching bomb. So barbershop quartet bomb and because they pair so well together and use Brute Splash. So the order I like to do it is Bomb before Splash. So I'd say a lot of you guys do it and I even made up my own little rhyme for it. So my little rhyme is, to help you remember, Bomb before Splash, you cover your ass. Splash before bomb, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> now, that's just my opinion. And opinions may vary, they're like everything else, but I just prefer to let the bomb soak in and then go over it with the splash. Just works better for me. And 
if you did have a little bit of a rough shave maybe, then that balm kind of give you a little bit of a barrier over the alcohol, right? It won't sting near as much. So this balm has menthol in it. Everything I get from Soapy Bathman has menthol, level two. It feels really nice, really cooling. It feels great on the skin. So now we will get in there with some of this Brute. Just for the one-two combo, right? Oh yeah, that's very nice. Very nice, no burn. And the two scents just pair so well together. So there you have it, gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, if there's, if you guys keep, uh, enjoy these videos, I will try and keep pumping one out every Sunday. I like doing it. I have to shave anyway. I don't mind getting on the camera. I don't mind talking to you guys. Um, also, one more thing. Um, I know there's been a lot more people posting lately on the group. I think that's awesome. Um, I know sometimes I go dormant for a bit, and the reason is I suffer sometimes from just posting burnout. And I think a lot of us get that way too. So the more people that post in the group, you know, your shave of the days, your questions, videos, stuff like that, uh, it's great. That's the stuff that keeps the group going. And the more the merrier. And that way it doesn't just come down to the same 10 people just posting over and over again, right? So anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we will catch you in the next one. So as always, friends, have a great day and have an even better shave. Ciao.